come close. <gasps> yes, okay. Wow, I've never filmed this late in the day. The lighting is like very different. Your head is so small. It's because you're up here. <laughs> Good morning. I mean, it's really not morning because do you want to tell them what time it is? I don't even know. It's 4.12. It's 4.12. I was supposed to leave for dance an hour ago. <laughs> But we just started talking. But Susanna and I have been sitting on that couch and we were talking we're for five hours. <laughs> I'm not even kidding because you came 11 on the dot. Yeah. And we started talking before she like took her shoes off. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. For five, five hours. hours. I mean, no wonder I'm so thirsty. So this is my dear friend Susanna. Do you know that we um, met each other 10 years ago? We did 2006. 2006. 2006. We've known each other for 10 years. I know. And the crazy thing is, just last year, was it last summer? Last summer. It was because we had Ningmyeon. Yes. Susanna was here last summer and we were sitting on that couch. And what were you talking about regarding <laughs> your life? How much it was a lonely life because <laughs> I was single. She's like, I'm never going to get married. I'm never going to get married. Oh my married. Me. Right? Mm -hmm. And then we sat here like a year later and she is. Freshly engaged. Yay. She's so happy. So we're just <laughs> catching up on life for the last five hours. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Thank you. So my roommate told me about these tweezers from Artbox. Mm -hmm. And she said she broke hers and I had to buy them for her because they were so good. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try them out right now. Is it an Artbox brand or it's just carried an Artbox? Karina, I don't know, I have no idea, but it's it's 2001. It's really oh, cheap. So it's like less than two months. Yeah, but she's like, she says they're really good. Damn it, I can't. I was like, oh, I'm going to go pick it up today because <laughs> I'm going to come down, but yeah. I can't. <laughs> but um, it has these nice rubber grippy things. Do you see that? May I feel that? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's good. And they made it like all like light by creating holes. Is that what that's for? I was wondering what the function of those holes were. Yeah, it's kind of like knives with holes, I think. I don't know. I'm making this up. Well, I believe you, and I'm sold. <laughs> September 1st, I'm coming for you. You guys know this little cup that I keep my beauty blender in? Well, look what Susanna got me. And I gotta put it back. I've seen these before, but I'm like, what kind of crazy person is going to buy this, and what are you gonna use it for? And then she got me these little micro mini beauty blenders. <laughs> I'm Wait. sure all of you guys have seen this before. Show them. And then them the cup. I just realized when I use this, I have a little mini cup <laughs> to dry it in. Like, how freaking perfect is this? It's like yoink. Do right? you want to explain why you can't wear oh, makeup? Right. So I just got LASIK done in Korea. Um, it's amazing i don't know why i got it i didn't get it done sooner i recommend it to everyone who's not scared of laser beams um <laughs> but they told you no know, a word of caution though like mm. so did you know so lasik is a procedure it's corrective visioning procedure where it cuts through your cornea make sure you look your back. okay it cuts i think it your cuts cornea. your cornea um but the consultant didn't tell me that when that happens it smells like like burnt hair mm -hmm. and I freaked out when I smelled it mm -hmm. but the thing is you have to keep your head still because it's correcting your vision because you're staring at the laser beams and I like tilted my head for a second because of the smell it like startled mm -hmm. me because it smells like dead I don't even know what that smell is like burnt dead people <laughs> like burnt squid burnt squid yeah uh -huh. but um but once I got over it um it was Good. It lasted maybe five minutes mm -hmm. altogether, everything, and it's been amazing. Like, I've been wearing glasses since I was eight, so. You kind of scared me when you said you were startled, so you shook yeah, it up. Yeah, I like shook. Burns no, oh, okay, okay. So it was okay, I, I think. I mean, mm -hmm. apparently. Because <laughs> I can still see, but. So they told me not to wear eye makeup mm. for two weeks. Mm. They said I could do basic face makeup, so I'm gonna say concealer is basic face makeup i guess i see like around the eyes because like if you were to remove eye makeup you would have to yeah put pressure you have to there, put right? pressure yeah. and you can't put pressure or like close your eyes too tight just because it like they say it wrinkles your cornea <laughs> whatever they say i believe is it a lot more affordable in korea yes um 
So in the States right now, the places I looked at was 2000 to 2500 per eye. Per eye, okay. But I got it done for 1301 at B&V. B&V? B&V. B&V. It's P&V. <laughs> oh, close They spell it B&V. Um, laser eye surgery mm -hmm. center. Uh, 1301. That's really cheap. All together? Uh, all together. Wow. And they give you like, you know, like great consulting. They Is like this talk permanent, about. permanent? Perm mm, they said uh, like with age, you're going to get bad vision again, mm -hmm. but eh, I'll deal with that one that comes. Um, the doctor said I have very thick corneas. Did you know corneas have different I didn't thickness? I know that. Yep. <laughs> Um, and so like I'm not that sensitive to light or anything like that So I was lucky in that sense. So I was able to see right away and it, the side effects haven't been too bad Just a little bit of dry eye. I did not know you use cushion. I did. I, I do. I like the dewy look I would have to say more than the matte look um, In the summer just because I sweat a lot So This is the Iopet air cushion. Yeah, but it's N31. N31 which means it's darker and they only sell it in the states. I cannot find it anywhere in Korea. Oh yeah, they this color would not exist in Korea. Yeah, I can't find it. Mm -hmm. They uh, what is the what is the light color they all use? Twenty three, yeah, twenty one like and twenty three, something oh, like that. Oh dang, then you're really you're thirty one. Yeah, I just like it thirty one. I I like appearing darker than mm -hmm. I am. I'm always really fascinated about people applying cushion compact because when I put it on, it just immediately looks cakey, but it looks so good on your cheek. Really? Oh, yeah. So you put concealer after. I do. Oh. Do you mm -hmm. want to stay in Korea longer or are you excited to go back on Monday? No, I want to stay longer. You want to stay longer? Yeah, I, I actually love Korea. I mean, not only is because of my family, but I just like the convenience. Mm -hmm. It's so it comfortable. Like, What do you find the most convenient about being here? You know what? I would say the underground network of oh, subway yeah. shopping. Mm -hmm. Like um, the fact that each apartment complex, I don't know if this is with everywhere, but each co apartment complex has like a supermarket that you would just like Oh, walk definitely not with everything. But, okay. Mm. So like my grandmother's apartment complex has its own like supermarket right mm. there. So uh -huh. it's like so easy and it's so convenient. I like the pace. People are very, I mean, people can be really rude. Like, mm -hmm. um, like older Korean folk just shove you out of the way. Like yeah. you're like a fly, like <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, wow. But other than that, There's I would no say- There's no saying excuse me, right? Yeah, but um, I like the pace. Like everyone's like moving pretty quickly. And mm. you know, it's just like home, I guess, in New York. Exactly, just like home. Yeah. What's next? Um, hula. Hula bronzer um, from Benefit. It's really old. I'm kind of gross. Oh wait. I that like cushion actually brush. looks really nice on you. It does? It looks very natural and you look oh, very tan. thank you. Yeah, I, I want to look darker. You know, I don't know how I sit here and talk and do my makeup because right now I'm like, what do I need to put on my face next? How do I do this every week? How do you? Well, what are you're you looking good for? at it. I, I thought I brought my... Oh, it's in here. Oh no, my. I brought my Ziploc full of brushes. <laughs> oh my god, you have to actually no, you can't. My chair has like a pool of sweat. Oh, do you? I'm like sliding around. Yeah, this. it's pretty uh, moist. <laughs> I hate that word. <laughs> oh look, I like hit pan with this. <gasps> hey. That's how much I used it. Good job, you minimalist. Yeah. So, um. Jen has really inspired me to live more minimalistically. Minimalistically. Yeah. So it's been it's been a journey. I mean, clearly I'm not <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not what doing did I teach you? a good job. But this is pretty much all old. Nothing is new. This is like stuff I've had. Yeah, I should really follow expiration dates. No, you know what though? I feel like with like, you know, the whole minimal minimalism thing, mm -hmm. um, it's really not about the actual number of things. Like some people might feel minimalistic with like, you know, having 70 pieces in their collection and some people might be fine with like having five. So I feel like for you, it's like, as long as you're not like continuing to buy stuff when that like you don't need. Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, but that's not even a lot. The makeup bag that I carry when I travel, mm -hmm. it's probably like about that many products. Confession, this is yeah. one of two. <laughs> Where is your other? I like left it at home because 
I threw my grandma's because I couldn't bring my eye makeup. So I was like, that one has all the eye stuff. So I was like, what do you use on your eyes that you need a whole separate bag? Uh, you know, like primer, primer. Um, what else is there? You know, just different <laughs> shadows. The different brushes. And to be honest, yeah. I don't really know what I'm doing. I oh, kind of like... I just pretend. Mm. I like spin it. I'm like, mm. it looks okay. Do you like the hard formula? I do. Do you want to try it? I love it. I mean, if you can go yeah, dark, you can try. You can go with a really light hand. I feel like it looks really natural. Wait, finish your eyebrows. So. Oh no, you can do it. Are you sure? Yeah. The thing is, like, I haven't seen this in the states. Uh huh. And it's really popular here, it's right? It's huge. I think my here. aunts both use it. It's huge, but but the only annoying thing is you have to go to the counter to have them sharpen it for you. Cause they use like a this special like blade technique. I think I would destroy it if I tried it myself. Like How our can't. parents used to cut pencils yeah, back in the day. Yeah, back in the day when they used to walk to school and it would take them 17 <laughs> hours and they'd go over three hills yeah, and three two hills. valleys. <laughs> so I'm trying to change the shape of my eyebrows because yeah. it's it's like fierce and I don't want it to be too fierce. So I'm trying to flatten it. Do you want that innocent Korean girl look? No, I actually hate this. Oh, okay. Um, no offense, anyone. Just no. <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone. I'm like, who are you talking to? Oh, <laughs> oh no offense, everyone out there. I just, I for your like face. This. Yeah, I don't. I tried it once. And yeah. I looked really confused. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that reminds me of the time when my sister over plucked her eyebrows and she just always looked surprised. <laughs> she just like... Back in the day, everyone used to over pluck their eyebrows. I know I feel like that was the thing. Everyone had like either really, really mean eyes or like super <laughs> round. <laughs> yeah. What were we thinking? Uh, we weren't. Do you think it just... <laughs> it I just don't in, know. Was it just in Queens or was everyone doing oh, it? Oh yeah, Queens girls, right? Queens girls were, were ghetto. That reminds me, because I think it, maybe it was Jen Im. She had like the really straight brows, and I'm like, man, that's so good. And I tried it on myself, and I looked so. She, Jen Im looks so good with straight eyebrows. She does. She really does. <gasps> kind of, she kind of looks good with everything. She kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, how the heck did you change up your makeup routine like um, that? It's still look good. I mean, yeah. She's kind of. She yeah. She's kind of perfect. But it's really funny that you say that because seriously, like, if I try to replicate one of her makeup looks, I oh god, I wouldn't even try. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried replicating looks from yeah. like different um YouTubers. I just I don't I don't I don't think I'm very good at it. Yeah. I mean, like, clearly, I'm not like a makeup artist. I'm just like mm. neither am I, girl. So yeah, when they sharpen this, they just have me sit down at the counter and they bring me tea or coffee and then they bring <laughs> it back somewhere and they sharpen. And I'm just. Drinking my tea and coffee, and then I have a. I will tell you, pencil. Korea has pretty amazing service it's stuff. It's like, kind of fun. Like what? I'm like tea, coffee. That seems unnecessary, they, but okay. You no, know, they did that for my parents on my the LASIK surgery center. Oh. Like oh. they gave them vitamins <laughs> and, and and tea, and I was like, what? I'm so confused. That's so That's funny. Where I exchange money. At uh -huh. the money exchange counter, they like love Brandon over there. Uh -huh. Every time he goes, they give him like vitamins and like a really? energy drink. I'm like, that's weird. And then I go by myself and I get nothing. <laughs> and then one time he went with me yeah. and then I got an energy drink and it was like. <sighs> well, everyone thinks he's good looking, right? That man in the elevator. It's On your date. Korean people that's love so him. Funny. Yeah. Charging it though. Which is funny because for the first time, like on our date night a few days ago, um, this, this guy was like, where are you from? And then Brandon's like, oh, like, I'm American. And he was like, not you, her. <laughs> and I was like, me? Me? They never ask about me. They just always assume I'm Japanese or Korean. So it's like, don't even bother. She's one of those two. Oh. And with Brandon, it's like, what are you? You look so exotic, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, do you hear the sweat? Oh, <laughs> oh no, wait, that's the paper here. Oh. <laughs> Oh but it is very, I'm very, very hot right now. Are you? Do you want water? No, 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 it's okay. Oh, I'm drinking water. So, Susanna. Yes. What are you? Okay, so when are you getting married for everyone? December 11th. Yay. Of this, this year. This year, because I, my fiance is the craziest organized planner ever. ever. And it totally compliments me. And I'm so <laughs> thankful. And what are you the most excited for when it comes to marriage? Um, I'll have to say probably just 
I'm so 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 cheesy. Be cheesy, it's okay. Um, pro I'm probably coming home and just talking about my day with someone. Aww. I know that sounds so ridiculous, but I like talking to people about ridiculous things that happened at work mm. or like I don't know on the street with like anyone like you know. And it's good to know that like he's just there to like talk to me about mm. these things or listen to me mm. just go on mm. that's one of the most things and probably just um i don't know ordering two different things and sharing <laughs> <laughs> so you need someone you want to connect with yes and you want someone to eat and steal food from absolutely perfect that's yeah. what marriage is all about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean there's nothing else that happens, right? <laughs> like, I mean, he says that I order way too much food. Like, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Oh, yeah. Me too. So I'm always just like, oh. but like when I go to a restaurant and I see it, I'm like, I just I want, want it. it. Mm. Yeah. But um, I'm going to really try hard when I go back to really work out again. And just don't stress yourself out. That's yeah. like the biggest thing I can tell you because yeah. when I was like trying to. Once you call it a wedding diet, there's just so much pressure that comes with it. I know. And, and then, I don't want to like, you know, do the Korean diet, so. Which is? Starving. People don't eat in this country. Yeah. Like, how do you not eat? I don't understand. It's like, how are you so, so thin? It's like, don't eat yeah. food. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, what? What do you mean? No, people really do that here. So. Yeah, no, we're not making fun of them. This is like yeah. real life. Like, it's pretty, I don't know. Something's got to change. But not yeah. everyone, but a lot yeah. of people yeah. we've encountered. Look, I have this too. Oh. Is that the Dior? Yeah, it's oh, a Dior, oh. but it's. I think yours is a different color. I have like, like when I saw it, I was like, oh, we have this. But I'm done. I've been like, oh, well, I would have gotten it for you. No, no, I have a backup. I just want to use all of this because I freaking uh. love this. Uh, this one's like baby pink. I didn't. I thought it would be clear. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, because there's a lot of color to it. And, and like when I got it, I was like, oh. I love how um, it looks slightly different on everyone's lips too. Mm -hmm. Wow, it looks like very baby pink. On yeah, me. it looks really oh, pink. It's really pretty. This yeah, is my ago. fourth tube. Oh, I keep buying. I have spent. Oh my goodness. How much are these anyway? I think like thirty something. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, it's like, not bad for how much juice I get. Because how often do you actually finish an entire lip yeah. pack? You know, what are you dreading? Okay, maybe that's too harsh. But uh, what am I dreading? What are you having realistic expectations for after getting married? Um, his the cups of half drinking, drunken, drinking, <laughs> drunken, drinking, drunk <laughs> water mm -hmm. and half empty bottles of Diet Coke and juice everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think realistically though, I know that we're obviously gonna end up fighting. I think it's just, um, it's two people like coming together as one, so it's gonna mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not dreading it, but I am, you know. I'm glad, I'm glad you're not dreading this. I'm not thing. dreading it. I'm just kind of like preparing myself yeah. for like whatever, you know, whatever can happen. Probably like living together and getting adjusted to that. That's probably something that'll be fun. Like sarcastically fun or really fun? Both. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have like my own idiosyncrasies, you know, like mm -hmm. I have like things that I mean a certain way. I'm sure he does too, so. What do you think he would say about you if these questions were asked? Me, um, I guess, would have to be... What would he dread? You know what? Mm -hmm. I throw things on the floor a lot. Like, my dirty laundry or something. Like, before I clean it up in the hamper. Like, I throw it on the floor before I put it in the hamper. I'm excited to talk to her in a year. So she can tell me all the <gasps> all the fun things. <laughs> marriage all the fun brings. changes after marriage. Yeah. yeah. No, because Brandon and I always high five each other. Like, yes, we never have to be married for the first year ever again. Oh, really? Was it was terrible. Oh, yeah. We fought all the time. Like about like habits, like that you guys had, or like diff like habits too. Mm -hmm. um, definitely learning how to communicate. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. We we fought a lot over that, or just like unmet expectations. Yeah. Or like. Me expecting Brandon to read my mind, mm -hmm. and obviously he can't. So yeah. when he wouldn't do things that I feel like is obvious, I would just like hold it in and be angry. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And then he'd be like, "What's wrong?" It's like nothing. Yeah, I yeah, I think I could see myself 
doing that maybe so like good. i'm not that great about communicating exactly what i want but you learn you're forced to learn yeah and like you, you said no it's like before when we we're talking earlier that he's like a mirror yeah it's gonna be hot i'm excited for you i want to meet this man yeah this he's man with an interesting name he's great darren darren d-a-w-r-e-n darren d-a-w-r-e-n his dad made up the name Oh, he did? Yeah, he made up the name himself. Oh. Like, he, like, poof, made it up. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just put? Oh, the RMS. Is the RMS. Oh, the... See, isn't it crazy how I know everything that I you own? I do know. <laughs> You're a true friend. I watch her videos all the time. So awesome. By the way, I'm trying to convince Susanna to start a YouTube channel, so can you guys peer pressure her, please? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've been talking about this for a year now. We have. But and so chicken. No, the funny thing is, Susanna, like last year we had a FaceTime or Skype. Yeah, she taught date. me how to YouTube. How to edit. How to edit, edit videos. Um, and I'm still waiting. Why am I so scared? I don't know. You know, everyone has. Yeah their fear so that's normal but like if i think about it if we both started youtube when we first started watching it back in 08 can you imagine like what it would have been like or we would be friends with jen m right now <laughs> and amy from vagabond youth and all those big girls and claire yeah like hey claire we ingrid nelson her. she's sweet we would have i don't even know her but i feel like i do we, we've been watching YouTube for a very long time. Yep. I learned how to put on makeup through YouTube. Mm -mm -mm. Me mm -hmm. too. I really learned how to do that, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's taking me through my 20s. Okay. So I mentioned on Monday that I would talk about the shopping ban with Susanna on Thursday. And actually, she doesn't even know all the full details of it too because I wanted her to kind of ask me about it while I'm like explaining it to her and for you guys as well. Basically, the purpose of this shopping ban is not just to save money, although that is an added bonus. What I want to do is I want to really learn how to be content with everything that I have because everything that I need in my life, I have it right now. And I think it's so easy to be tempted on like social media or just like walking down the street, especially in Korea. You're just like... Yeah assaulted with you know Stuff. ads yeah totally yeah. and i guess just being able to not fall into you know the the like in that moment like you think you might want something because mm -hmm. of all these things flashing in front of you but basically it's yeah i'm happy with what i have and i don't want to spend all of my time and my energy on attaining more stuff i want to have like a definite um, healthy relationship with the things that I own and actually I was really really inspired by my blogger friend Lauren and I wanted to share her blog post in the description box below because I really want you guys to go check it out but she was inspired by another blogger uh, blonde on a budget and that other blogger did a really long shopping ban. I think it went on for like a year or two or something oh, wow. And you can only buy very specific things. So Lauren did it for 90 days. And it's really nice because she kind of outlined why she did it, um, what she was allowed to buy, what she's not allowed to buy. Mm -hmm. And then after the 90 days, she wrote a recap post, like all, all, the, all the lessons she learned, um, how it didn't go as perfectly as she planned. And like, it's a long read, but it's totally worth it if this is something that interests you. There's also another interesting thing about um, I don't know if you feel like this, Susanna, but let's say there's something in your mind that you really want, like, I don't know, like a camera, mm -hmm. right? And then that whole longing for it, mm -hmm. it's so exciting, right? Mm -hmm. But then once you buy it, it's like exciting for a little bit and then it just kind of dies and then you're on the search for the next best thing, yeah. right? So a lot of times it's actually that the time of wanting something is much greater than actually having it. And... Mm -hmm. I definitely experienced that. Oh my god, with beauty products? That's, I know. That's a big one for me. Um, mm -hmm. Stuff around the house, like buying furniture or like home appliances. I'm always like, oh, I'm going to place this order or this. And then all of a sudden, I just have a lot of stuff and mm -hmm. I don't utilize everything. So I want to learn to be creative with the things that I already own and just really appreciate each item for the value that it brings in my life. You know what might be a tip someone told me about mm -hmm. buying stuff is they said think if you think about it so don't buy it on the first mm -hmm. time you want it mm -hmm. but think about it for like a week mm -hmm. and if you still really want it after the week then you should purchase it mm -hmm. i never follow that advice mm -hmm. 
but <laughs> that's a good nice one. Given to me, yeah. <laughs> um, but I think it's great that you're doing that. So, what can you buy and what can't you buy? Okay, so I have a list here on my phone. Um, I am allowed to shop for groceries, right, to feed me and Brandon <laughs> and anyone that comes over. <laughs> Cosmetics, but only basics like foundation and I can only buy it if I run out Okay, so if I and that's not gonna happen because I have enough foundation to last me for the next few months <laughs> But if I were to run out of like mascara, let's say or concealer I'm allowed to get a new one mm -hmm. and I have to follow the one in one out rule Okay, so I can only buy if a new one if I throw out the one that's done toiletries i'm allowed to buy toiletries so toothpaste toilet paper etc and again that follows the one in one out rule and ingredients for cleaning products because lately i've been making my own cleaning products so i'm not like what yeah so instead of like using a uh, windex to clean windows <laughs> i've been making this like uh, baking soda vinegar essential oil oh it doesn't and work? it just cut the, cuts the grease yeah and because our bathroom is in vandal it doesn't have a window oh. i hate walking in just Breathing in oh, all yeah. those chemicals. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, okay. so That's great. If I wanted to, yeah, if I needed ingredients for cleaning products, I'm allowed to buy that. I'm allowed to shop for gifts for other people. Okay. And I'm allowed to spend money on teaching expenses, whether that's buying books for my kids, buying games for my kids. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of, I don't go too crazy, but I'm very lenient when it comes to getting supplies that I'm going to use for teaching my students. Okay. And the things I'm not allowed to shop for, one is fun cosmetics. And by fun, it's things that I don't need, but I just really want to test out. Oh, it's in my heart. That, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's always, always hard. hard. Yeah. That's why I have to stay away from Sephora and I have unsubscribed from quite a few YouTube channels <laughs> because some of them are super tempting. I'm not allowed to shop for clothes because as you guys know, I'm doing my capsule wardrobe. I plan to do that for the, uh, all the other seasons too. So I'm not shopping for um, any clothes. And plus, um, when I was in California, I bought everything that I needed for okay, my good. summer capsule. Mm -hmm. I can't buy accessories. I don't want to say can't because this isn't about restricting myself. Right. It's something that I know this is going to benefit me greatly. So I am choosing not to mm. buy accessories. Okay. And I'm a sucker for jewelry too. But I don't know. These days I've been just kind of love. I wear I like the same your... thing all the time. Yeah. It's, so I'm, it's yeah. very you. I think it's good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Books. Books. Books is hard. No, you. Books is reading. hard too because it's. And it's Kindle makes it so easy. Yeah. It just like press a button and then boom, I have a book. So no books. And plus, I have so many books. And I, a very bad habit of mine is I'll buy a book and then in the middle of it, if another book excites me, I'll buy it without finishing the first one, mm -hmm. and then I'll start the second one. So do you actually finish the book later on? I'll or? go back. Yeah, I'll go back. I don't always okay. finish it, but yeah, I I'm bad about finishing one before moving on to the mm -hmm. other one. Uh, apps. I don't buy apps all that often, but those little charges really do add up. Like oh, I'll two ninety nine. Exactly. Or like productivity apps. Or like I'll just like you know test different things out. So I'm I have everything that I need. I don't need any more apps. Household items. Um, these days I haven't been too crazy about like buying stuff like candles or decor. But in the past I will. I had no limit when it mm -hmm. comes to buying candles. <laughs> you like a fresh smelling. I do. And the last one is electronics and appliances. So no new gadgets. Um, hopefully, crossing my fingers, my computer doesn't break or something. Because that oh, would yeah, be a necessity. That's, that's a necessity. I yes. would have to buy a computer. But pending that everything it functions just fine. Yeah, no splurging on electronics and appliances. So, are you mm -hmm. just going to be doing this till August 31st? Or, mm -hmm. And see how it goes? Mm -hmm. And then see if you want to do it? longer later on or? yeah oh, okay yeah. so this so is like exploration yeah it's like an experiment mm -hmm. so you're seeing if you want to make this kind of like a life long like a lifestyle change almost yes to stop shopping for things you don't need exactly really. right. there's nothing wrong with shopping for things that you do need right but some like if i'm doing it because i'm bored right or because i'm tempted or like i'm influenced my money can be spent on better things people right mm -hmm. so yes it's definitely an experiment until august 31st 
And at that point, I would love to share the things that I've learned, mm -hmm. like the freedom. I know I'm going to experience freedom. Like mm -hmm. I'm so looking forward to that. So I want to share the freedom that I've experienced. Um, if I happen to like mess up along the way mm -hmm. and I buy something because maybe I wasn't thinking, mm -hmm. I want to share that too about mm -hmm. how this process doesn't have to be perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just being creative. It's like the other day I wanted like a glass jar mm -hmm. to contain like coconut oil because okay. I wanted to start using coconut oil as hand cream mm -hmm. and I'm like oh okay I need to order a glass jar and it's like nope I'm gonna dig around for <laughs> a glass jar at home that I can repurpose but you know even that yeah. it's so easy for me to log on to G Market right. which is an app in Korea it's like it's the Korean Amazon yeah. almost and I could just order it and I'll be here in two days and shipping's like two dollars yeah yeah so it's just getting out of the habit of Oh, that's it's, okay. I'll just get another one. It's kind of like eating. You yeah. know how people eat when they're bored, yeah, and they can't control like me. Yeah. Like I, I always eat. Me too. I'm, I'm always a constantly snacker. like. I don't know. I'm eating a lot, but yeah. you know, like, yeah. I guess it's similar to that. Like you have to train yourself to stop and think. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I think it'll be great. Yeah, and I, I definitely would love to see what you learn from it. I will share yeah. everything. Because I'm sure there's a part of you that's probably going to struggle, right? Oh. Like if you really want something, Absolutely. Like, you know, deciding if it's necessary. Or... Exactly. My friend Lauren too, um, it's funny because during the course of her shopping ban, like she's left me comments like, oh, this is a product that I want to try when my shopping ban ends. So it was uh. always like, I want to get this when my shopping mm -hmm. ban ends. And she told me the first 75 days for her mm -hmm. was cake. It was so easy. Oh, and really? the last 15 were extremely hard. So oh, I'm that's interesting. And mine is actually the span of my shopping ban is longer than her so I'm very curious about when it's gonna start getting really difficult for me has it been hard no Cause you started May 1st right I did what, what but then did May 1st I got back from California on April 30th and I'd already come back with a lot of the things that I needed mm -hmm. so I didn't feel that right that right, right away mm -hmm. so we'll see we'll see in a month definitely go and check out Lauren's blog posts. I'll link both of them below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and Susanna, thank you for doing this oh, with me. No. Of course. Okay, so um, Susanna's YouTube channel is going to... <laughs> <laughs> You're announcing. I'll link it below. <laughs> it'll it'll <laughs> pop up in the description box one at day. some point. <laughs> one in day, the yeah, we'll so see. Just keep checking. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great um, week, weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday. Monday. Bye. Bye.